Hello everyone. So the letter did get released and I just taken a little bit of time, uh, but I do want to be sure that I read it for you and um, put a video out. So I am currently showing you obviously the parents and, and this is kind of a, you know, how they were uh, throughout the day today, but I'm going to bring you over here. So I have some that are the original, right? So here's like the original letter. Uh, but then I also have like the, the copies that were made of it. And honestly, that's probably the one that I will keep you on. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you will think different. I feel like you could see the, the photocopied one better. But these were the original right there. Like then this is the photocopy. Like you can kind of see it better but um i'll show you this first oh here is a it says remember the bird i don't know that was a little weird and i didn't see that in the, the other ones there but yeah so put that up here and uh, i'm actually going to read it from over on a different tab because it'll be a, a little easier for me to be able to actually see what i'm reading um but it says, all right. Well, currently I'm over here with uh, just a bunch of excuses. Part of, of it. That's not the part that you guys want to hear about. Not yet, anyway. Okay. All right. It says, I just want you to remember, I will always love you. And I know you will always love me. You are my boy. Nothing can make me stop loving you. Nothing can or ever will divide us no matter what we do or where we go or what we say. We will always love each other. If you're in jail, I will bake a cake and put a file in it. If you need to dispose of a body, I will show up with a shovel and garbage bags. If you fly to the moon, I will be watching the skies for your re-entry. If you say you hate my guts, I'll get new guts. Remember that love is a verb, not a noun. It's not a thing. It's not words. It is actions. Watch people's actions to know if they love you, not their words. And the next one. Therefore, I am certain that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor the ruling spirits, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers from above, nor powers from below, nothing in the entire created world can separate our love. Neither hostile powers, nor messengers, or heaven, nor monarchs of earth, nothing has the power to separate us. Romans 8, 38, and then it says extended version. And then nothing can separate us, hatred, not hunger, not homelessness, not threats, not backstabbing, not even sin, not the unthinkable or thinkable can get between us. Not time, not miles, in miles and miles. Uh, you got me, y'all. I think it's really weird. I think it's a very strange. It's very strange. In my opinion, I think it's a bit strange. Uh, but that's it's in it. Um, I think that there is. I don't. I don't know. I don't, certainly don't think it's about the books or anything that she put excuses on of what it was about. And she she certainly did put excuses. Um, she definitely gave explanations. Uh, she's got one. Actually, let me read this one to you really quick. So this one here says, <clears throat> I'm going to read this one to you. All right. So it exited me out. Please hold one moment while I go back to where I was. All right. So 
It says, the letter to Brian was written prior to Gabby and Brian leaving my home for their trip. Previously, I submitted an affidavit to the court for very limited purposes, but that is not the whole story. Now that the letter has been shared, I ask that you read it in its entirety and understand that the letter contains other phrases besides those highlighted by Pat Riley for sensationalism and to bolster his case. I truly loved my son and simply wanted to convey to him how much he meant to me and how much I loved him. I'm sure people use phrases all the time to express to their loved ones the depths of their love. Although I choose words that I thought would be impactful with Brian given our relationship, the letter was in no way related to Gabby. Please read the entire letter before you believe the hype put out by Pat Riley. I mean... I don't, know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not loved enough because I've never had anybody use words and phrases and say stuff like that before ever. I haven't. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, maybe other people do. Please let me know if you have, you know, um, or if this even seems normal to you or, you know, I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. But I just wanted to show you couple of photos here of Gabby because you know it's what got this all started she's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful but uh, I don't know and we'll keep being there as her parents fight the fight and uh, try to get any kind of anything any justice at all Right. So I'll continue to bring you any updates that happen with the case, but I'll keep this one short for us and uh, I'll leave it at that. But I hope that you all are having a good one. I will talk to you all very soon. I love you all very much and continue to keep um, the family of Gabby's in your thoughts and prayers. Um, take care, everybody.